Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Hard Working Man today. I got Nate with me once again. I'm going to get a 20 foot long, three foot diameter oak tree is what it's supposed to be. I haven't looked at it yet, but we're going to pick it up. It's one that was cut down by the power line company and left in this guy's mother's yard. So we're gonna go see if we can get it bucked up, load it up into the trailer, maybe some into the truck and get it home for some firewood. It's a beautiful day finally getting some good weather it's about 50 degrees partly sunny with a light breeze should be a great day for working so thanks for coming along let's go get this oak tree all right here we are this is the oak tree they want us to leave the little man here he said it's been down about a year maybe a little bit longer we're gonna just try to get it bucked up and load it up into the trailer we'll roll up what we can Pretty decent size oak. Got a couple new tools I picked up. The more I work outside, I'm starting to replace some of the inadequate stuff I've been using over the years. Because I'm working out here a lot more now, getting a lot more wood. So I'll grab that stuff. All right, here we are to get this oak tree bucked up. I got a new tool that's gonna help with this. It's also gonna help when I'm out in the woods cutting. I've been using a little S-wing hatchet to drive my wedges in. I know it wasn't the right tool for the job, but I had it on hand and it worked when I needed it. I was messing up my wedges because it just had a little hammer head. And if I really needed to drive a wedge, I either had to go up to the house and get a sledgehammer or it didn't work. So I picked up this Fissures X15 and I got a little belt holster for it. So now I can carry this with me in the woods. Better for driving wedges better tool if I use it for lemon and everything. So I'll use it today when I knock these wedges in the top to keep it from pinching my blade. So let's get this thing bucked up and loaded up. Let's get to work. All right, well Nate, get some of this bark and dirt cleaned off it. I'm gonna get a quick measurement on it just to see what it is. And then we'll start bucking it up. Eighteen and a half feet long.
All right, we're gonna start with the biggest one. I'm gonna, hold on. I'm gonna cut that flare off. Then we're gonna try to roll it up this trailer. Grab the ax and put it under there so it doesn't roll back. All right, I'm gonna bust out the carbide chain to cut through this one. Shout out on the first round of the day. You can see all the dirt there. And I brought those 36 Pro with that carbide stain as well. So I can do stuff like that. Let's see how hard it is to get this big old girl rolled up this trailer. Skill than I have, but we're getting rounds.
cuts better. Of course it's a little bit smaller now too so pretty sure I'm gonna overload my trailer but it won't be the first time I've done it. Yeah right that's uh some big pieces there. Yeah it is. Alright. Hey I appreciate you coming out and take care of this. Place. Hey thanks for letting me grab it. Yeah my mom will be very excited to have this out of the way. <laughs> that's fine like leaving the bark and stuff. We'll take care of it. All right. You get, get all the big stuff out of here. Perfect. I'm sure that's enough for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, right. Thank you again. it up. This worked good on the ground, but it's nice having two people to get it up this ramp. And I don't feel like hooking my son with the hook around. Leave a little weight off the tongue for now. Try to even this load out.
We got done with the part that they had up on logs. They fell this on some round so it would stay off the ground. So now we're gonna have to make sure we don't hit the dirt. I'd say we got about half of the tree gone, half to go. The hookaroon definitely works better for pulling this as opposed to trying to push it. But to get it up the ramp, it's nice to have two people instead of just me trying to do it by myself, trying to keep the momentum with the hookaroon. Definitely getting easier to manage now that we're away from the three foot diameter. Still definitely not light.
making our way down the trailer. I'm gonna get the rest of this bucked up. We're gonna go home, get that dumped off, come back and pick up the rest. Decided, since I got to come back anyways, I'm going to take two of those rounds off the trailer, lighten the load a little bit, so I'll get the rest of this bucked up. We'll get two rounds off the trailer, get those home, come back, get the rest, get them home, and call it a day. home that'll get chunked up into smoker chunks using the smoker go get our first load unloaded come back get the rest and that's a good day
screwed when you think you're hooked into a log and you get all that pressure pulling and it cuts loose and you go flying. Never done it out of a trailer before though. Once in a while I like to do something like that where I hop out of the trailer backwards and do a cartwheel just to show off my athleticism. My wife likes it. What? Yeah. You, you missed it. Dad did a backflip out of the Out of the trailer. trailer. I had this. I thought it was hooked in. And it came loose and I flipped over the trailer. I think yeah. so. I told them you like when I do stuff like that to show off my athleticism. Now. Yes, man. Yes, man. Hello. All right, well that wraps it up. 36 inch diameter, almost 20 foot long oak tree, bucked up, loaded, and getting her home. Definitely nice to have another person here. That was uh, quite a challenge rolling some of those up the trailer and having two people definitely helped. Always got my good worker Nate out here with me getting stuff done. Thanks for watching Hard Working Man. We got 13 oak rounds here, 36 inches down to about 24. All cut to around 16 inches. Not the most perfect cuts, but not too terrible. We'll get those split up here in the future. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks to Nate for giving me a hand. Appreciate it.
Have a good day. Little man says, check out these two videos. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notified when I post new content. And make sure to leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching.